Well, I uh, pulled the pipe in. Uh, I'll have to look at the video later. I don't know, four or five feet. So uh, it may have been just over a ledge and a foot deeper in that extra little distance I pulled it in as they're, you know, bubbling away out there. So uh, um, the question is, is, is that, uh, is that uh, moving enough water, you know, air, popping up enough air? It's uh, certainly not as uh, spectacular as what the three horsepower does. But, you know, three horsepower and 60 watts are uh, night and day uh, in terms of uh, power consumption. Um, uh, I think three, a third of a watt's uh, one third of 700. So it's 200 watts. It's a 200 watt versus a 60. So we got a little puddle there. And the question is, is the next model up um, going to be able to drive a little bit more uh, in terms of... Uh, uh, making a sparkle in the middle of the water. That's a, uh, uh, you know, to put it in perspective, uh, the bottom of that drum, it's it's uh, much smaller than that. And the stone down there is uh, not exactly stone, but it's uh, about a 20 inch diameter uh, hose. But there's little bubbles coming up and it's stirring it. Now, some of the guys that have you believe you gotta buy some two or three hundred dollar uh, special, you know, micro bubbler stone and their stones, the magic to it all. And I, I imagine there's a degree of that, uh, that there's some engineering in there that gives them some marginal utilization of improvement. Uh, you know, maybe the question is, is, is that marginal utilization of improvement worth, uh, you know, the $300 price tag they put on those stones? Or is it cheaper to go low tech with, uh, you know, uh, soaker hoses or uh, offshore, uh, uh, r rubber membrane uh, bubblers, bubbler uh, units. So, um, well, let me do some more watching this and uh, I'll let you guys go for the night.